Yo, what is going on guys? Sears here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the updated Black Ops 3 compiler for GSC. Um, I'm going to title this video exactly like I titled the original release, because I think that this tutorial is going to be way faster for you. This video is just going to show you how to get set up and import any of the Infinity Loader projects you want. You're not going to have to do any of the complicated stuff that you had to do in the last two videos, because I made a tool to do it all for you. So really quickly, I'm going to show you how to get set up. Of course, you're going to still need Visual Studio Code, so go ahead and install Visual Studio Code. That will be in the description below. Um, you're going to need a menu to use, so grab whatever menu you want. I'll link default menu in the description if you want to try that out. We're going to go ahead and click on the Releases tab. You're going to go to get here. You're going to need to go to GitHub and my GitHub and then T7 Compiler. I'll put that in the description as well, of course. Um, just click on the Installer internal branch right here. And then go to this T7C installer, just download that, and just quickly run that. It's going to just run anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, once you've got it running, you're just going to click Install Compiler. It's going to download it, it's going to pick up that window, and you're good to go. Then what you can do is import the project that you got. Um, I already have default menu set up, but we're going to go ahead and show you how to use that. You're just going to simply click select project. You're going to go to wherever your project is. For me, it's actually on my desktop. It's in the YouTube folder. I'm going to click default menu. I'm just going to hit OK. Then I'm going to select wherever I want to save the imported project. So I'm just going to make a new folder and call it imported. You can call it whatever you want. You don't have to call it imported. That's just what I'm calling it. So I'm going to hit OK. And you just hit start migration. And as long as everything goes well, you're going to get migrated successfully. You can just close that. And you can join the Discord server for any questions you have. Um, I'll be happy to help. Um, and so will anybody else in the Discord who knows how to do this. So if you have questions, you can join the Discord server. Um, for the more advanced users, you can also create new default projects if you want. Um, and that's pretty much it. And you can reinstall the Visual Studio Code extension if you need to. We're going to go ahead and close that out. And we're going to go to our folder where we created our imported folder. We're just going to come in here, right click, and open with Visual Studio Code. If you don't have this option, restart your computer. We're going to open it up. We're going to go ahead and just make sure that our scripts look good and everything. Um, so far they do. You can see that it's colored. Yours should look colored like this. If it isn't colored, it's because the extension wasn't installed. Um, you should have this gsc.conf, which will have some symbols defined. I'm going to actually be injecting to zombies. So I want to make sure that this MP changes to a ZM. You'll have to do this whenever you inject. Because if you have an MP there, um, the injector is going to think you're trying to inject to multiplayer, which obviously you're not. So as long as everything's good, as long as you've got a project ready to go, um, the only other thing you're going to have to do is go to File, Preferences, and go to Keyboard Shortcuts. And in here, you can just search for Run Test Task. And you can just set up a key binding for this. I set up Control-Shift-I. You can set it up for whatever you want. Um, just know that if you pick one that's already in use, you're going to have to unbind it, which is an extra step. So I would just pick something that you like. Um, once you've got that set up, go ahead and press your hotkey. And you're going to get a version check, and it's going to inject. It's that simple. We can go ahead and start the game. Now, we're going to go ahead and just wait for this to load, just to show you that everything is working. And then, for anybody who's interested, I'm going to show you how you can inject pre-compiled scripts. I know that uh, this was a feature people were asking for, so I went ahead and added it in. Because um, I know some menus, like Subversion, are uh, pre-compiled, so you'll want to be able to inject a pre-compiled script, too. Just go ahead and check. Yep, mod menu is good. Everything's working. Um, we'll go ahead and exit out of this. And I'm going to show you really quickly how to inject a pre-compiled script. So all you're going to need to do to inject a pre-compiled script is just go to your C drive and go to this T7 compiler folder. And you can just run this debug compiler.exe. It's going to check for the update, and then it's going to show you this. You're literally just going to press the I key, and then you're going to drag whatever compiled script you want onto this. So I'm going to go to my YouTube. And you see I've got this compiled.gsc. For any menu that you're going to do, um, there will be a compiled.gc. So if you just want to share it to your friend without having to have them compile it, 
you can just send this compile.gsc to them. They can just run this program and, and uh, drag this compile.gsc in, and you just press enter, and it'll inject it, and everything's good again. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I changed the injection method as well for some people who are having issues. If you're still having issues, like I said, just join the Discord server. All you got to do is run that installer tool, and you can just join the Discord from there. Um, I'll also link it in the description if you have any questions. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And share it with your friends so that they can all get a free GSC compiler for Black Ops 3. Um, it's also open source, so if you want to modify it, feel free. It's, it's on GitHub. And like I said, that'll be linked in the description as well. See you guys in the next video.